Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah and welcome to yet another FSR3 video. Today we're taking a look at Cyberpunk 2077 and uh, here we are. Right now this is without any FSR3, this is just the normal one. And uh, I'm running on the latest patch which is 2.1 I believe. Uh, I think you can actually check uh, in the menu here, right there, 2.1. And here are the settings. So we're basically running at FSR, we're running at the low settings. Uh, not the Steam Deck preset, the low settings one, just to get the best out of it. And I'm going to actually run to performance FSR, and we don't have any VSync or anything else on. And here we have, there you go. Running at 47 FPS. This is actually pretty good. Uh, for some reason, I was noticing, I was testing this yesterday, and oh, there you go. Yeah, I was noticing a lot of stutters, and uh, I looked it up, and apparently it seems like uh, ever since patch 2.1, uh, the stutters, uh, like, like Cyberpunk has been a stutter fest on uh, the Steam Deck, so that's um, not the best thing ever. Not really fun to know, but uh, there you go. Let's try to get a, a, our car, which I'm not sure where it actually is. Right now, playability-wise, I mean, uh, <laughs> if you ignore the stuttering, uh, it's, it's actually very good. It feels very nice, it feels very responsive, you know, and uh, uh, definitely can play. This is one of the most intensive, one of the more intensive areas. Uh, uh, this this circle just going around here, it, it's very intensive. You can see the fruit drops. And being in a car in this game is very intensive. I am on HDD mode, though. Like, this is what the game defaulted it to. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to show you that real quick. Uh, I'm actually on the HDD mode. So it, it apparently loads less effects and less crowd and stuff like that to save more performance and whatnot. But uh, like I said, it's really, um, I don't know how to drive. Yes, that's what I was saying. <laughs> it's really uh, not, it's kind of very really stuttery. I, I did try locking the the GPU clock uh, anywhere from 1200 to 1400, and it makes this the frame time so much smoother. You can see that the stutters are much, much better, like especially those bigger stutters. There's still some micro, minor stutters, and the frame time is still not that perfect, but... So that this is what I would recommend, but for the sake of the testing, I'm just going to keep it off just to show you the raw performance of it so that uh, there is nothing kind of happening there, yeah? And we're just going to drive around, uh, around the city here, just going... Should have said Night City, that was a missed opportunity. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just like, you know, drifting apart. Uh, why not? We're in the we're in like the mid thirties most of the time, uh, and if we're not driving, we can actually even be in the forties uh, on foot. Uh, so I'd say that's pretty good, like mid forties on foot. On driving though, because of the whole acid loading, depending on which area you are in as well, uh, it can like stutter and it can um, be quite devastating for the game. Uh, so just keep that in mind, and uh, you should be good. There we go. Yes, sir. That's that was amazing. <laughs> yeah. So actually, it does not look bad on the on the screen on on Steam Deck screen and uh, like even on performance, in my opinion, of course. Uh, but I would say that balance is definitely just better objectively. I mean, it is better objectively uh, because you're running at a higher resolution overall. But there you go. That's the testing for the FSR three without FSR three. Sorry. And uh, that's that's how it runs, basically. Now let's move on to the FSR retesting, shall we? Okay, so here we are on our Steam Deck. Uh, and let's take a look at, on how to install this mod. So if you go to our Steam, you can right-click Cyberpunk here and click on Manage, Browse Local Files. Now here, in the Steam Deck, in the uh, Cyberpunk folder, you need to go to the bin folder, x64, and this is where your exe file is located. Next, you need to go to where your mod is. So this is where I, ha I have the 0 0.7.6 version, which is the latest as of right now. You open that up. And here, Cyberpunk uses the FSR 2.1 uh, version, so we're going to be using that. So we double-click that. And there it is. 
and just drag and just select all the files and drag and drop them right here in the x64 folder and there you have the files and that's basically it now we also need one more thing in order for this to run usually you also need the um you need the unable fake gpu as well but personally i got it working at least for cyberpunk uh without using this but if it doesn't work for you you can also open this up and drag and drop this file into the directory as well um and we can go to properties of our game now and we're going to add something in the launch options for the mod to actually work uh i have the command in the description so just copy and paste it just copy the command and paste it right here that's it we're done Oh god, what's going on? <laughs> okay, uh... Okay, so, uh, that was a great experience. Welcome back. And this time we're taking a look at FSR 3. It's actually not on yet, so don't look at the frame times just yet. The frame graph, I mean. Um, just my cable right there. So, we're gonna go ahead and, um, turn it on now. And to turn it on, you simply have to switch to DLSS and uh, you have to turn on frame generation and i'm also going to keep it at performance like last time and you'll notice right off the bat um it feels so smooth like it actually i'm not talking about the frame rates like right now the frame rates is say 50 55 right if you actually turn this off like uh, let me just show you first before like just like let me just like a little, little camera pan right okay it's a bit stuttery you can probably tell like it's not perfectly smooth but you know, it, it feels so much smoother. And if you turn this off, which is through this, uh, if you just turn, okay, not, not the resolution scaling off, but rather you switch it to, uh, okay, I don't know why this is enabled, but you switch it to FSR and again, performance again. Uh, oops. Yeah, I'm great at this. <laughs> so you can probably tell that it's not as smooth. It's kind of stuttery, actually. Not stuttery, sorry. It's kind of uh, weird, actually. Like, let's do, like, a little camera pan, and it's, uh, there's a lot more blur, there's a lot more, you know, but the frame time, though, is, is pretty good, so I, I'll, I'll give you that, I'll give you that. So, anyways, let's go to DLSS right there, turn this on, once this is on, I'm actually gonna turn this back down to performance, hopefully that stays, because, yes, look at that. Like, it, it is, okay, again, it's unfortunately not the best experience. But here we go. This is FSR 3. Uh, feels very smooth, at least right now. Very, very smooth. Uh, I have it locked to 1200, though. I just want to say that because without it, it's it's a steady mess. And I'm not sure why, like I said, something to do with the, the 2.1 patch. Uh, I heard that, I, I read that about it on Reddit. So if you guys know more about it, you know, what's really going on, because a lot of people are having this stutter issue. Uh, but you can see with it locked, it's it, the frame time is much better overall. You can probably even get it to 1400 if you really want to, you know, kind of a more smoother experience. Uh, and the frames, it's pretty good. Okay. I can work with this. Okay. So uh, where's the car? It's over there. Um, yeah, the very start of the video, I, I apparently got kidnapped by, uh, by someone. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, my phone just ran out of storage. Uh, that wasn't very fun. <laughs> I'm recording at like 4K, so it's it's. Uh, I'm trying to give you guys uh, the best kind of quality, which I know it's not still that good of a quality, but anyways, we're back. And wow, this at least in this area, this feels buttery smooth. This is like extremely smooth. There's no there's no stutters either. Uh, so that's amazing. And apparently, uh, they they used to have uh, UI flickering issues. I think you've probably seen other FSR three videos on this game, probably most likely. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look at that! Look at that! That I don't know if you guys can tell. That feels, that feels smooth in the video. Sorry, not in the video. That feels smooth in the game. <laughs> My bad. I hope you can tell that in the video. That's what I mean to say. That feels so smooth. Like this is this is amazing. So what they recommend is turning off VSync from within the game, which is off. With this, this game does not let you. Oh god, this game does not let you turn it on to begin with. And what they recommend is basically turning on system level VSync, which is this guy right here, which is already off. Uh, it's already on. If you disable frame limit, 
This turns off system will vsync, and you can see you get even more frames, like getting 70s, almost 80s sometimes. But at the cost of like a really kind of stuttery, like I don't know if you can tell in the video, like if I pan, it is so stuttery. Very stuttery, you know, it does not feel good at all. And if you just do this, and this is system of vsync, this is so smooth. Like, tell me you can tell that. Like, you can you can actually f like see that on the video. I hope you guys can see that. It's so smooth. That's so good. Uh, albeit, there is latency. So this does feel like I'm playing at around 30 to 40 FPS latency. So it's, I'm, I'm playing around 30 to 40 FPS in terms of input. And then the game is just kind of becoming fluid on top of that. So it's not, it's not uh, like I said, a magical switch by any means to just give you extra frames. But at least in Cyberpunk, like, you know, okay, I almost, almost hit the police. Okay. At least in Cyberpunk 2077, uh, it feels so smooth. It's it's crazy. It's crazy how smooth it feels. I've not actually seen this good, like, this good of an implementation of the frame generation technology in any game so far, uh, surprisingly. So this is very good. Do know that I do have it locked at 1400. Like, I have my uh, my GPU clock locked at 1400 megahertz. So, you know, with it locked, uh, with the mod enabled, with the game running at low settings, low settings pre uh, preset, uh, we are getting these kinds of performance levels. So, you're not going to be seeing uh, those otherwise. So, you know... Maybe you will. Maybe if you, uh, if you, uh, oops. Oh my god. Maybe if you were to, uh, oh, wait, I'm in combat? Okay. Uh, <sighs> there you go. Well, <laughs> maybe if you were to, uh, you know, turn, you can probably also play this on in, in balance now, which is kind of the fun part. Like you can see, it's, it's running in balanced as well. Pretty smooth. This is not the most intensive area, of course. So I would love to see if, if I'm able to actually play this uh, on the Steam Deck preset, uh, if that's even possible. I think it's right there, balanced. And we are going to go to DLSS. Balanced. Okay, it works in the Steam Deck preset as well. well you okay, will you look at that? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I think they turned on motion blur and stuff too. I can I can tell, honestly. But with motion blur, it feels even more fluid. It feels way more fluid. Like if I'm being real with you, um, but you know, I, I know there's some people who are not a fan of motion blur. I personally am a big fan of motion blur. But hey, you know, there you go. If you're a fan, keep it on. If you're not a fan, turn it off. It does feel much better. Though, what's going on here with the frame times in this area? <laughs> this is on the Steam Deck preset, uh, and it doesn't lot. Oh God. Okay. Can the police like relax, man? I remember the days of Cyberpunk when the police would just not chase you at all. They just give up if you run like to the next block. <laughs> You're like, ah, can't, can't, I just can't, man. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> and now they're just like going far and beyond. Uh, yeah, don't take driving lessons from me, as you can see. Just don't just, just do yourself a favor, please. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you, if you enjoyed, uh, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. And consider supporting me on my Patreon. That would greatly help me, and I would greatly appreciate that. What? <laughs> That's sorry. What was that? <laughs> the police just went poof. And uh, let me know if you guys would like to see more videos like this. <laughs> this is generally fun, honestly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, take lots of care. And uh, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I just hit a person. That's not really fun.